My next guest is a pop star, a burger mogul, and one of the blue bloods here on CBS. Please welcome Donnie Wahlberg. You look nice. I, I yeah, I look. Yeah. We look good together. We kind of do. We do. We do. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me ask you a question, tough yes, guy. Um, <laughs> you're from Boston. I am. Okay. Born and raised. Do Bostonians are Bostonians actually tough, or do they just sound tough? Well, do you cultivate it? It's a delicate thing. It's a delicate thing to talk about Bostonians on TV unless it's in a completely flattering light. But let me try to explain this the best way I can. Why? <laughs> Why? What will happen? Well, there we'll are some home. tough Bostonians. There okay. are some tough ones. Okay. I go home and my mother will grab my ear and say, Why did you say that about your mother and all your brothers? It's a very Boston thing. That is. But like most people, if you talk loud yeah. and obnoxiously... You get nominated for the Republican Party. You could do that. <laughs> you can definitely do that. Uh -huh. And most people that do that... Yeah, yeah. Like said, fellow, are they, usually not as tough as they pretend uh -huh. to be. But are you tough? Are you actually a tough guy? Uh, you know, I come from a family of tough guys, but yeah, the yeah. toughest of all is my mom. She's okay. She, she ra had to be right. How many kids is she? Nine. Raised? Nine kids. She raised well. How many you have? A lot. Eleven in Eleven. my family. It's not a contest, but my mom won. <laughs> not a contest. She did. It's not a contest. But my mom. She's New York. She's New York. She's Boston. Yeah, but my mom had Irish twins twice. Where do you fall in the family? I'm the eighth of nine. Eighth of nine. Who's the baby? Mark. Such a baby. baby. He is a baby. So that they get away with everything. He gets away. He got away with everything then. He gets away with everything now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a baby. Yeah. yeah. You guys still doing wall burgers? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we've opened about 15 of them now, what? and we have deals to open. Gosh, I think uh, 200 in the next wow, four why, or five why years. Wow. Continue to do all this hard work of acting. Uh, <laughs> well, acting, acting, acting's hard work, man. Why not just it, like, kick back and eat burgers? It's not hard work. It's not it's hard work. Not, no, actors, people who become famous, they like to talk about how hard they work. Yeah. And you know, my dad was a bartender, a truck driver, a bus driver when he wasn't laid off from being a truck driver. My mom worked night shifts in a hospital in a bank, you know, cleaning up and mopping the floors. We grew up on food stamps. I mean, I'm an actor. It's and, and I do reality shows. This is what I worked for my whole life, and if I were to complain about it, I promise you my dad would come down to heaven and kick me right up the ass. This is, <laughs> this is not hard work. Well, I'll it, tell you what isn't. I'll tell you what else. This also does not look like hard work. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you do a cruise every... You do the New Kids cruise. New Kids on the Block, yeah. New we Kids do on a, the Block we do a cruise. cruise. Yeah. <laughs> this is a picture of you. That's you, right? That's, That's me. Right here. This is a picture of you working really hard on the cruise. Can we show? Can you get a little closer? That's you. It's hard to make him out among all those 38-year-old women <laughs> grabbing onto you. I, I'd say, I'd say, there are, there are 30 to 38. 30 to 38 year old women. Yeah. What? They look like they're about to tear you limb from limb. We have, Is that scary at all to jump into a, a pile of women like that? Two things. A, you're never too old to crowd surf. You should try it one night. It's really okay. fun. Oh, I did it. Yeah. I did it. B, we have the best fans. My, my fans from New Kids on the Block days, way back in the days, who were eight, nine, and ten, and are now in their thirties and what have you. Um, they've stuck by me and my bandmates forever. And we still tour every year. We play Madison Square Garden a summer ago in Boston Garden, and we travel all over the world and are really more successful, at least spiritually now, than, uh, and with our fans and our relationship with our fans now than we were all those years ago. What do you, what do you mean spiritually successful? What's spiritual success? We appreciate it more when you're young and you know, you're thrust into the spotlight. You're not really prepared for it. Nobody's prepared for it. A kid like Justin Bieber, he had no idea what he's getting into, you know, and you want this thing and you get it and you don't really know how to deal with the pressures, especially if you come from a dysfunctional Irish Catholic family with nine kids and, uh, you know, Schlitz drinking dad. You know, it's, it's tricky to handle this stuff. So, um, you know, you make mistakes and you kind of, you, you can lose your way. And everyone, you know, when you're 20 years old and everyone will turn on a light switch for you. You don't even have to get up, you know, book your own plane ticket. Um, when we disbanded in 1994 after 
a really huge successful run. I mean, I'd never booked a ticket. I didn't know how to take a vacation for myself. And, you know, I was on the Forbes list, you know, and with Oprah and Madonna and didn't even know how to, you know, go grocery shopping. And I, and, I mean, not literally, but, you know, I had to learn how to be a real human being. And, wow. and I did. And do you prefer being a real human being? <laughs> Which do you prefer? You've been not a human being in both? And, and, and a human being, which is better. I prefer to do my own shopping, to do my own stuff, and to take care and raise my own kids and, and myself, and to not have a bunch of handlers do that stuff for me. You, you said, um... <laughs> good hit. Now, uh, you said you're never too old to, uh, crowd surf. Right. Do you want to give a shot? <laughs> sure, why not? Come on. Before we go, let's say this. Blue Bloods airs Fridays at 10 on CBS. Donnie Wahlberg, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by John Fry. <laughs>